So let us now take a look how we can also add the customer's input also to the packing slip. So it is also important if you will pack your packages and then you will also see what kind of personalization details were submitted. So what we have to do is we have to go to snippets. I will do so. Now we will find here this code. We can just copy it. And then we have to go to settings, shipping and delivery. We can now scroll all the way down until we will see the section packing slips. I will click edit template. And now I recommend to use the search functionality. It's a shortcut. Then you can just enter here, for example, variant, because this is easier to locate the right position. Now you will see here, these two variants are um, highlighted. And here you have to look for the next and if. So we have span and then and if. And here after that, we have to paste the code. So I recommend to make some space and let's here then just paste the code. So now we just have to click the save button. And now that's everything we need to do. Let us also confirm. Now if we go to orders, I have here a sample order. And here we can also check the packaging slip. So let me click here, print packaging slip. I will do so. Now the packaging slip is generated. And we can see here that also the value from the customer. Let me go back. You will see here this was the text which the customer has submitted is now also shown in the um, packaging slip as well. That's how it is done.